All right, so you got me thinking, thinking about bowling balls, thinking about the equipment, thinking about coming up with a lineup of equipment in one way or another uh, to create the best possible opportunity to strike. So how do we do that? Well, we could look at a couple different options. Option one being we find six different bowling balls with six different uh, number variations with RG and differential, maybe three symmetric, three asymmetric, and then we lay all of those bowling balls out the same, okay? And then we just use only the difference in the cover and core to, to manipulate the change in the bowling balls. Now, some people will believe that's not enough change and they're going to want to see different layouts. So that's the other option. We can go from six balls with all the same layout and being able to use different covers, being able to change the surfaces to using six different balls with different covers and cores and using different layouts. Um, so which way do we go about this? Well, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do an experiment and I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the six balls that I have drilled. I've drilled at least six balls that are different that have the same layout on them now at this point. And I'm going to try and see if I can't change the surfaces and make a video on that. And we're going to show the difference between that and then six bowling balls that have different layouts. Uh, and we're going to try to compare them a little bit and see which option is the better option. Because here's the way I'm looking at it. If I have six bowling balls with a layout that I know I love, like that five, I have a layout. It's that 70 by five and a half by 60. That layout is so versatile. It lets me go straight. It lets me play in. It gives me enough shape down lane. It lets me do whatever I want. It allows me to manipulate the ball with my hand and to be able to create whatever shape that I want with it. Um, so if I just have that shape uh, or that type of ball roll and, and the, the core revving up like that on every ball, and I'm able to just kind of change surfaces, change hand, change little things to get things done the way I want. Because because just think, just a, a difference in from 1,000 to 2,000 grit can make that ball read feet sooner or feet later, depending on which way you want to go. So how do we actually come up with the idea of, okay, that we need, you know, we're not going to do step. We're not going to go from like 180 grit all the way up to like 5,000. We're not going to do that. But maybe we take and we have, a, you know, the three symmetrical pieces and we go a shiny one, a 2000 and a thousand. And then we do the same thing with the asymmetric. And then we kind of, you know, we mix it up and figure out where we want to go from there. Because I would imagine, uh, as most people know, bowling balls, the, the, the actual, the motion of a bowling ball gives, the majority of it is from the cover stock alone. Um, very small percentages from the actual core and the layout. Uh, the layout is very small determining what it is. But the layout determines enough to where you know, I'm sure many people have had a layout that just doesn't match up for them. A layout that just says, nope, I'm not going to do anything that you want. Or it flares weird uh, and makes it hit the thumb. Just a layout that just doesn't work for you. Um, so obviously, you know, there are good layouts and there are bad layouts. Um, I use some stronger four and a half inch pin distances. And for some reason, they just make a really sharp corner they don't slow down and round out the pattern. No matter what the pattern, they don't do it for me. So uh, I, I do think that there's going to be a need for having multiple different layouts, um, but maybe you create different bags. Um, but we're going to try to take a look at this. We're going to check it out. Let me know what you think. Do you think you could create uh, an arsenal with you know just six balls with the same layout on it or do you want you know a bunch of different balls a bunch of different layouts and everything there so i don't know let me know like in the comment or comment in the comments below let me know what you think and what you want to do or what you would do and what do you want to see out of a future video created by doing something like this what kind of layouts do you want to see what kind of things do you want to see in a video to be able to do some testing and show which way we want to go and do you know which layout you need all the time. Which layout do you start with and which kind of bowling ball do you start with? Just comment below and we'll talk about it a little bit later. Take care, guys.